Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a very interest, interesting type of reaction called halogen exchange reaction. So in this, the typical reaction is you have some alkyl already, hello alkane. You react with some salt, halide salt actually. And then you get Ri and Nx. So X can be here, chlorine or bromine. Please note, this is an equilibrium reaction. It's a very critical point here, equilibrium reaction. Because in this case, right, uh, if let's suppose X is chlorine, so let's suppose, let's take this example. C2H5, Cl reacts with NaI, it gives C2H5, I, plus NaCl and this is the equilibrium reaction because the reaction can move in both direction right because it's anyway halogen exchange right so here uh, once it is in this phase iodine chlorine can attack and kick off iodine right and becomes C2H5Cl once it is C2H5Cl iodine can attack and become uh, C2H5Ni so it's a equilibrium reaction and this is also called Finkelstein reaction and the good part about this reaction is that this equilibrium reaction, how to proceed? So it, it is based on the solubility. So we know that sodium iodide is soluble in acetone, but sodium chloride or sodium bromide is not soluble in acetone. Correct. Now the whole reaction takes place in a solvent called acetone. So what happens here, since sodium chloride is not soluble in acetone and this is the equilibrium reaction, it precipitates out and you take this out from the reaction, from the whole solvent. This is a, is a tumbler when this, I have a uh, acetone here and this reaction is going on and this sodium crystals comes out, right? And using some sheave or something, you take this out, you take this out, then concentration of this is decreasing that means the reaction will forward in the proceed in the forward direction and with this you are able to achieve this correct please note this kind of reaction is a equilibrium reaction also called Finkelstein reaction but the way is uh, in order to achieve the product we take advantage of the solubility so in this case we have seen that uh, sodium iodide is not soluble in acetone but sodium chloride or sodium bromide is soluble in acetone so what we do we carry the whole reaction acetone, sodium chloride precipitates out, we using sheave or something, we just take out the sodium chloride and thus the concentration of sodium chloride is decreasing, so the reaction will move in the forward direction. So if you don't understand why this reaction is moving in the forward direction, please watch my class 11th video on equilibrium where we discuss how to take this equilibrium reaction into forward or backward direction. Let's take some examples now. So the question is, why is sulfuric acid not used in the reaction of alcohol with Ki? As I told that Ki is nothing but I- minus and sulfuric acid is very strong acid, it will convert this into I2. Right? So if it is I2, I- minus is not there and I- minus is something critical, right? Because this is my nucleophile. So if I use sulfuric acid, my nucleophile is exhausted. Sample ROH, if I react with Ki and if I use H2SO4, my H2SO4 will eat this I minus. So instead of H2SO4, I'll use S3PO4, which is a little weak acid, and this will not eat my I minus. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.